Hello and welcome. This is a follow-up video to last week's uh, video on S Reaper's Super 8 Looper. Uh, for doing this, you won't need an external MIDI controller. I'm actually just going to be programming notes to tell the loops when to start recording and when to stop recording. Um, so, what I've got here is four inputs set up. Um, going into stereo tracks just like the last week um, but I've got down on here um, a MIDI track which just has the trigger notes on it now you can put this directly onto Super 8's uh, Super 8's track the, 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 the Reaper track that you have Super 8 set up on so we have the bass recording First of all, the inputs are always live. And what I'm doing is I'm muting them, going into Super 8, via automation. So exactly at the time that the uh, that Super 8 stops recording, it's muting the input. So I can just move straight to the next instrument. You've got no, no buzzing sounds, you've got no clicks and all this kind of thing. And I've got the keyboard set up here as another MIDI input as well. So, as I say, this is a very, very short video compared to what I normally do. Um, but just another way that you can use Super 8. In this instance, I've known, I, I know exactly that I was going to be switching between very quickly between instruments but what you can of course do is you could build an arrangement up that you have your own either head arrangement or a few parts written down and then play through them and you can be doing counterpoint against yourself all this kind of thing um, I'm gonna be actually doing some more expanded jams and experimenting with this because this is what I've done here is quite a constricted uh, version I'm recording at exact times knowing exactly what I'm gonna make as a loop but if that's the way that you want to work that's that's uh, it's open to you completely okay so thanks for watching um, and see you in the next video thanks a lot bye